now in this video we are going to learn completing the square method now in the first video we have learned um, factorization method and the second video factorization method now this is completing the square so to do completing the square method is easy now you will see the first time is s square second time is 5s and the third time is 5 now for every completing the square the first step you should do here, you should take this one to the other side. So your question will become S square plus 5S is equal to minus 4. Meaning this term here, take it to the other side. So since it's plus here, it will become minus on the other side. Now if you do this, you will notice you now have S square plus 5S here. So before we proceed from here, let's talk about perfect square so to make you understand this step very well now let's talk about perfect square if i say what must be added to s square plus six s to make it a perfect square what must be added to this to make it a perfect square so it, the simple approach is that you will multiply this number here multiply it by half you say plus to the number here multiply it by half and square the results so that is the thickness of perfect square so 2 and 1 2 year 3 so it will now becomes s square plus is there. so what must be added is three square as in to make it a perfect square and three square is what nine that means you must now add nine to this to make it a perfect square now let's see another number let's say we have s square plus seven s now what must be added to this to make it a perfect square now focus on this number so plus so anything you have there you multiply it by half that's coefficient of s multiply by half and square the results so this becomes s square plus 7s plus 7 over 2 square now that means what must be added to this to make it a perfect square is 7 over 2 square which will give us 49 over 4 because 7 square is 49 2 square is 4 now let's see another one what must be added to s square plus 8 over 5 x what must be added to this so whether the number is fraction or a number still focus on this one multiply it that is 8 over 5 multiply it by half and square the result so this will be s square plus 8 over 5s plus 8 over 10 square now what must be added is 8 over 10 square which will give us 64 over 100 so now let's see another one please take note of this this is the main method that uh, this is the main part in completing the square method that is difficult for most students that's why i'm doing it like this you will let us see when we are using it to solve completing the square method now see this what if you have a square plus 5 over 3s now what must be added to this to make it a perfect square so you still say plus now this time focus that will be 5 over 3 times half so the half is constant every time times half everything square so that will be s square plus 5 over 3s plus 5 over 6 everything square so what must be added is this so if you expand this will be 25 over 36 so please take note of all these things now if i ask you 
what must be added to this now to make it a perfect square so let me change the alphabet since so far so i can say y y square plus 5y so what must be added to this to make it a perfect square whether it's s y z or any alphabet it's the same way so take this number that will be plus 5 times 1 over 2 everything square that will be y plus 5y plus 5 over 2 square so that means what must be added is 5 over 2 square now what we are doing for my uh, plus is the same thing we'll do for minus now let's say we have s square minus 6s now what must be added to this to make it a perfect square in this case notice now the number is not plus so the number here now is minus 6 so is that minus 6 you will multiply by half then square it so that this becomes s square minus 6s minus 3 and plus let's show it plus minus 3 square this plus is this plus then 2 here 1 2 here 3 so that will be minus no there is minus inside minus 3 square so that means if you have minus that's what you can do now what can i say about this s square minus 7 over 3s what must be added the same way your targets so far there is minus here yeah. so your target is minus 7 over 3 times 1 over 2 square always multiply by half and square it so this will be s square minus 7 over 3s plus then you no know, this one will be 7 times 1 that will be 7 but there is minus over 6 everything square so take note if there is minus yeah the minus will still reflect because it's that number you are multiplying by half now that is perfect square now what number can you call a perfect square if i say square root of 16 what square root of 16 you will tell me 4 that means 16 is a perfect square because if you find the square root you know it will be like 4 square so that this root will cancel out this so that's why we get 4 now if i say square root of 9 you will tell me it's 3. Why? Because 9 is 3 square. So that this root will cancel out this square. That will be 3. Square root of 25. You will tell me 25 is 5 square. So that this root will cancel out. The answer will be 5. Now all these numbers we see inside roots. And we find the square root without decimal. They are called perfect square. Now how can we now relate that to this expression so now let me start with something like what must be added let me use something you will grab so s square plus 4s now what must be added to this to make it a perfect square so we know i'll say plus then i'll multiply this by half that will be four times half then i'll square it as usual then two year one 2 here 2 so that means this will become what s square plus 4s plus 2 square then this is what i will add to make it a perfect square which will give me 4 that means i can go further and say is s square plus 4s plus 4 like this that means it's 4 i'll add to make it a perfect square but let me show why it's called a perfect square yeah proceed now if you solve this if you factorize this quadratic using quadratic uh, uh, factorization method if you watch video one so you should be able to factorize but here yeah, i'll solve because it's assumed that you can solve it now so f s square plus 4 s plus 4 
Let's see, we have now watched video one and two. Go and watch. You should be able to solve this because video one is basically factorization method. So I'm using factorization method here. Yeah? So this will be s square plus 2s plus 2s plus 4. Now bracket and two. So go and watch the video again to understand how I'm solving this. So x plus 2 plus 2 s plus 2 so we have s plus 2 and s plus 2 so this will be s plus 2 everything square if you look at this s plus 2 s plus 2 is s plus 2 square now if you look at s plus 2 square i is in a, a perfect square look at it s plus 2 square remember what must be added to this to make it a perfect square is two square and that two square is what i change to four i now proceed downward then i got s plus two square now what is square root of s plus two square do you see that this root will cancel out this so it will remain s plus two that means what must be added to this expression to make it a perfect square is four you see as i add four and solve i got a perfect square that's the meaning of the perfect square now but in completing the square method see what we are going to use now you see that i solve using factorization to here to this place then i got s plus two square now in using the main method of completing the square you don't need to solve before you can get this you don't need to solve all this before you can get this so that's why from here from here this expression is what you will now do now that means i can i don't need to solve i'll focus you know there is square here and there is square here i'll focus on those two that means i'll write this first and this last i don't need to touch the power so just write the first number and the last one so that means i'm writing x as in this one plus this one because it's plus then close it and put square outside you see so that is how you can just do it straight without even solving it like this and that's what we'll be doing so far and under completing the square method now let's test ourselves on that before we can proceed now S square turn this to a perfect square. S square plus seven over two x. Now the first thing is what as what I've explained before you can do that you need to multiply this by half. That will be plus seven over two times one over two square now this is s square plus 7 over 2s plus 7 over 4 square that is 7 times 1 7 then 2 times 2 4 now based on what i discuss i don't i can ignore this power first then take this one that will be x and take what you have in the um brackets that is seven over four close it now put the square outside that means if you solve this using factorization method this is what you will get last last that's it so now another one let's say you have s square plus six s now make this a perfect square that will be the first thing you multiply this by half that's plus six times one over two square so that two here one two here three so i'll have s square plus six s plus three square now i'll focus on this one and this one so that will be x plus three then put the square outside so that's what we'll be doing here now let's see what if it is minus we have there 
What if I have s square minus is s as I have explained? What you need now is minus is because there is now minus. So you say plus, still be using plus, but you now say minus is because it's now minus. Minus 6 times half, it's still the same way, then square it. 3a1, 3a3. Then I'll have s square minus 6s plus open bracket minus 3 square. To turn it now, you need x. That will be s, and what you have in the bracket, that is minus 3 square. So that is how you turn it, if there is minus here. So now, let's say the last one, then we'll move on. Now, let's say you have, let me change the alphabet, y square, minus 7y. Now, what must be added to this, you say plus, now your target is this one so in short to make it interesting so let me say minus 7 over 5 then y so what must be added now you say plus always add plus now your target is this one that is minus 7 over 5 carry the sign along then square it now you need to multiply it by half don't forget as in the number here write it multiply by half and square it carry the minus along if there is minus so y square minus 7 over 5y plus minus 7 over 10 everything square so now you focus on this one and this one so you now have y minus 7 over 10 that is this y and this minus 7 over 10 here close it then put the square outside so like that now let's continue with our question so that is perfect square and that's what we'll be doing here most so this is question now so right solution now given s square plus 5s plus 4 equals 0 so using completing the square what should be the first thing now? You take this one without s, take it to the other side. So you have s square plus 5s will be equals to minus 4. That is, it is plus you have here. If it cross the equality sign to this side, it will become minus. So if you do this now and you get minus 4, if you look at this number here closely this time you will see that is like the perfect square now let's say this is a question now s square plus 5s now what must be added to this to make it a perfect square based on what i've explained since you write the 5 then you multiply by half and square it you know that's what i've been doing since and that will be equals to what s square plus 5s plus 5 over 2 square okay so this is over 1 5 times 1 5 1 times 2 2 so that means what must be added to make it a perfect square is this so that is the same techniques we are going to use here now what must be added to this to make it a perfect square so that will be s square plus 5s plus 5 over 2 square so by now you should know i got 5 over 2 then equals to now that means in this part i've added this to make it a perfect square now the same thing you add to this place you know you say plus this add it to the other side you know that will be minus 4 plus as in this minus 4 plus the same thing add it the same this add it to this place that is plus 5 over 2 s square add the same thing to both sides so now let's do it again so what must be added to this to make it a perfect square we say it's plus 5 over 2 square so that will be equals to minus 4 so i'm adding the same thing plus 
5 over 2 square so add it to both sides so that if this can come to this side it will cancel out and our equation will go back to this now anything you add to this side add it to this side too so it must be the same so now how can i turn this to one with what i've explained i said concentrate on this first one plus as in this one plus anything you have there that is five over two square and take the two outside so i hope this step is clear now is equals to minus four plus now you can expand this one open the bracket five square is 25 two square is four as in five times five twenty five two times two four but this one is over one any number that stand on its own is over one now we have s plus five over two square lcm four so one in four 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 times four sixteen that is minus sixteen then four in four one one times twenty five plus twenty five so that will be s plus 5 over 2 square so minus 16 plus 25 that is 9 divided by 4 now you need to remove this square you take the square root of both sides so that will be s plus 5 over 2 but if you want to take it make it plus or minus square root of 9 over 4 why plus or minus because of this square anytime you have to you must have two answers that is plus or minus now this should become x plus 5 over 2 equals plus or minus square root of now i can find square root straight square root of 9 is 3 divided by square root of 4 is 2 square root of 9 3 square root of 4 2 now take this one to the other side so that will be you no know, is plus it will now becomes s is minus 5 over 2 plus or minus 3 over 2 so you need to write it first this one then plus or minus maintain it then 3 over 2 so write it first if you take it to the other side so that plus or minus will be in the middle so now what is the lcm yeah lcm is 2 so this will be minus 5 plus or minus 3. 2 into 1, 1 times 5. Then 2 into again, 1, 1 times 3. So LCM. So now you have plus or minus this one. You will have to split the plus or minus. So you will have to split it. So that means x is equal to split it. So that will be minus 5 plus 3 divided by 2 or s is equal to minus 5 minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 divided by 2. You know, this is plus or minus. So I'm writing plus first, then minus, split it that way. So now x is equal to minus 5 plus three minus two over two or s is equal to minus eight over two so s is minus one or s is equal to minus four so that will be the final answer and that is completing the square method now let's see another question now you can get decimal number when you are solving quadratic especially using formula or completing the square now solve solve 2s square plus 7s plus 5 equals 0 now to solve this it's easy so using completing the square method now what do i say you do first so 
we have two x square plus seven x plus five equals zero. So I said the first thing is you will take this term without s, take it to the other side. So you have two x square. You have two x square plus seven s equals to minus five. No, this plus here we change to minus with the cross equality sign. Now, before you will now proceed, look at this number here. There is coefficient. Look at my first example. My first example is just s square, no number at the back. Now, because there is two here yeah, now, you need to divide everything by two. But first thing, you take this one to the other side. That's it here. Yeah. It becomes minus. Now, before you proceed, anytime you have number at the back of s square, you first divide by that number. Now, you say divide through by 2 so that you will have 2 s square divided by 2 plus 7 s divided by 2 equals to minus 5 divided by 2 so that 2 will cancel out you now have s square plus 7 s over 2 equals minus 5 over 2 that means we don't want any number to be at the back of s square so if you have a number here first divide by that number so that you will now have only one yeah so if you have this now you can now proceed so continue now so you will look at this it's like a perfect square so what must be added there to make it a perfect square so if i give you the question you know you will say you will say plus now the number is 7 over 2 that means you will say 7 over 2 times half then you square it so that will be 7 over 4 then square as in 7 times 1 7 2 times 2 4 so that is what you do so it's what we have been doing since so i just separate it here so that means this will becomes s square plus 7 over 2s plus now 7 over 2 times half so remember you take this one times half then you square it and i told you that anything you add to this side you must add it to this side that means this to be minus 5 over 2 plus 7 over 2 times 1 over 2 square as anything you do to this side do it to this side too so for that one so this will becomes s square plus 7 over 2x plus 7 over 4 then everything square equals minus 5 over 2 plus 7 over 4 everything square now you focus on this one and the inner bracket so this will be x square now that will be x plus 7 over 4 everything square is equal to minus 5 over 2 plus now open the brackets here yeah, that will be 49 over 4 uh, over 16 because 7 times 7 is 49 so over 16 so now this becomes s plus 7 over 4 square is equal to lcm 16 2 in 16 4 4 times 5 20 minus 20 plus 49 9 sorry 2 and 16, 8, 8 times 5, 40, plus 49. So, what is minus 16 plus 49? So, we have x plus 7 over 4. Everything square is equal to 
9 over 16 as in 9 over 16 so that means we have s plus 7 over 4 so i need to remove this square so that will be plus or minus square root of 9 over 16 so that will be s plus 7 over 4 equals plus or minus 3 over 4 because square root of 9 is 3 square root of 16 is 4 now you can uh, you can have your note and be writing this down because the way i cut the um the, the way i cut the board s plus 7 over 4 now you need to take this to the other side so it becomes minus so that will be x is equals to minus 7 over 4 as in this one take it to the other side plus or minus 3 over 4 so so if you have this now you need to find the lcm s is equals to lcm is 4 so that will be minus 7 plus or minus 3 now split it so x is equals to minus 7 plus 3 over 4 or s is equals to minus 7 minus 3 over 4 so s is equals to minus 4 over 4 or s is equals to minus 10 over 4 as in just add so s is minus 1 or s is minus 5 over 2 answer that is using completing the square method so let's solve another question now let's say let's say we have s square i want to do minus now s square minus uh, let's say 3 s square minus 4 s minus 5 now i told you we can have decimal number so as answer solution so just write 3 s square minus 4 s minus 5 equals zero now what should be the first step here yeah? you take this one to the other side the constant term so we have 3 s square minus 4 s will be equals to 5 you know if minus cross it will become plus so i don't need to write plus 5 so that means that is the first thing then you have coefficient and i said anytime you have coefficient you divide through by the coefficient so here yeah, divide through by 3 so that will give us 3 s square over 3 minus 4 over 3 s is equals to 5 over 3 so that 3 we cancel out so to remain s square minus 4 over 3 s equals to 5 over 3 but now what must be added to this to make it a perfect square now this will becomes s square minus 4 over 3 s plus now take notes there is minus yeah that means it's minus 4 over 3 you are writing here that you are multiplying by half take note of sign each time square equals what 5 over 3 plus i said add the same thing to the other side minus 4 over 3 times 1 over 2 square the same thing you add it, add it to the other side so like that so now this will becomes s square minus 4 over 3 s plus minus 4 you now if you can cancel you are free 2 year 1 2 year 2 so you are free to cancel out if a number will go 2 year 1 2 year 2 
that means I'll have 2 over 3 square but if it cannot cancel out leave it like that but if you can you can reduce is allowed so this will be 5 over 3 plus minus 2 over 3 square because I'm doing the same thing here so reduce by 2 so anything you add to this side make sure you add it to this side to the same thing so now in this case I want to turn everything to one so I'll say x this s and what I have in the bracket that is minus 2 over 3 please take note of the sign so minus 2 over 3 is equals to 5 over 3 plus now you can expand this if you have minus 2 square is 4 over 3 square is 9 so the minus will not affect this um, sign here so minus times minus is plus so minus 2 square will give us plus 4 so no effects so not minus 4 minus 2 square will give plus 4 and 3 square will give 9 because minus times minus is plus now this becomes s minus 2 over 3 square lcm is 9 3 in 9 3 3 times 5 15 plus 9 in 9 1 1 times 4 4 so this will becomes s minus 2 over 3 square equals 19 over 9 now you can watch the video at your own speed but at least you can see the steps so follow the steps so if i give you a question you should be able to do it on your own and take note of sign yeah so it's the sign we use throughout here so now from here you notice that now the decimal this will not be a perfect square as in this number here so this is our last step and bring it here so that means this will becomes x minus 2 over 3 cos plus or minus square root of 19 over 9 you know this 19 is not a perfect square as before you no know, since we got perfect square so that means x is x minus 2 over 3 is plus or minus. Now you can press your calculator. What is square root of 19? So that should give you 4.3589. So approximate. You can leave it in four numbers. So divided by square root of 9, 3. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 19 is the up one. So now take this minus 2 over 3 to the other side so x will be 2 over 3 plus or minus 4.358 divided by 3 so now what is the lcm lcm is equal to 3 3 in 3 1 3 in 3 1 so 1 times 2 2 plus or minus 3 in 3 again one one times that will be four point three five eight so s is equal to now you need to split this that will be two plus four point three five eight divided by three or s is equal to two minus four point three five eight divided by three so x equals to add so that will be six point three five eight divided by three or s is so how do i get that that is two plus this together then two minus four point three five eight so what i going to get so you should get minus two point three five eight divided by three so s is equals to now divide so 6.358 divided by 3 so that will give you 
2.119 or divide this to 2.35 is divided by 3 so now that is minus so that will be minus 0.786 so answer so that is completing the square method now you should be able to solve try this on your own solve so using completing the square method 2s square plus 5s minus 7 equals 0 you can get decimal 4s square plus 8s uh, I mean minus 3s minus 5 equals 0 anyhow so now let's do one that will not be decimal plus 10s plus 9 equals 0 so solve these three questions using completing the square method so now we can move to formula method in the next video is completing the square